Hey, come on in. Okay. So, welcome to the new house of stereo. Uh, this is a construction update, and we are standing right inside the front door, and we wanted to show you a bit of what you're going to find here, and an area that we haven't done a lot of talking about is actually to the right when you walk into the shop. So we're going to start over there today, and um, I want to show you what we're up to. Uh, so, you know, this is our front of house area. We'll have a really cool stereo up here. You know, we'll have a welcome in. There's a TV. There's some really beautiful speakers that uh, I'm not ready to tell you what they're going to be just yet, but there's really going to be an awesome pair of speakers and a beautiful little system right here at the front that we're really excited about. And it'll be much cooler looking and much more obvious that you're stepping into a separate place because above here we'll have the sign that says Focal Powered by Name. And this is the core of the Focal Powered by Name Experience Center. So what this is here, this is what we call the vestibule. And we're going to build a headphone bar across here. Uh, this door will actually go away. So there'll be a headphone bar and some benches. And so the Focal headphones and the name Unity uh, headphone amp products and the various products that uh, these two companies offer will all be represented here. Then on this wall, um, we've got a beautiful chandelier we've got to install, uh, but this will be the Vestia and the Aria. Uh, this is a little living room. We're going to cut a cool piece of round carpet here, and this is going to be really dressed up to, to you know you're walking into a, a Focal name area here because this whole unit is dedicated to them. Now this room is where things really get cool. This is the Focal Power by Name Experience Center. And as you can see, there's a couple holes in the wall uh, all around the room. These are the Focal 1000 series LCR in walls and then the Focal 1000 series subs. So every channel will have uh, the three driver in-wall subwoofer attached to it, but up at the front, we've done it a little bit differently. So we still have to cut the holes for the left and the right LCR, but each of these speakers will have two subwoofers Per speaker. So we'll have a total of six in-wall subwoofers. Half of it is already cut. This is enough space for three of the subwoofers. We're going to cut an equally sized space on the left-hand side for three more. So uh, add to that the four in-ceiling speakers and what we'll have is a 7.10.4 system to start. Uh, we expect it to grow, but 21 channel system and that's pretty darn cool but the coolest thing about this room is we will also have the six foot nine inch Focal Grand Utopias in the zero coat wood finish which is it's easily one of the the, the most beautiful speakers I've ever seen that's the 16 inch Wolfer uh, the Focal Grand Utopias are the 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 state of the art for what Focal can do so this 20 by 30 room will primarily house them then it will also house the name statement, the monoblock and preamp system, 742 watts per channel. The name statement is really cool. It, it's like a monolith, and what they do with the lighting and the, uh, the separation, it looks like part of it is floating. It's really, it's, it's a, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So what we've done is we've added, this is the Vanden Hall Magnum speaker cable. Uh, so this is our, in-wall cable that we're going to be using to drive the statement and the Grand Utopias together when we're doing an event where and people don't want to see cables. Well, these will, they, they fit in the wall and uh, you won't see anything. Uh, so the people who aren't audiophiles and don't want to see the cables, we can always hook these up. Normally, we're going to have the best of the best cables from you know, the brands that, that we know and love uh, on the floor normally. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to have a, uh, a drop-down screen and, of course, the Focal name uh, design, the wood sticks that everyone kind of recognizes as Focal name design. That'll all be in here 
the Vicoustic room treatment, it'll all be part of it. Another cool thing about this room is this is where we've put some of our highest technology lighting. So this will be the name statement light and on each side will be to light the speakers. We're also planning to put some RGBW lights in here so that we can add some color. I think we're gonna launch this around March 8th. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, all of the cabling in here is CAT7. So this will be 10 gigabit ethernet. I'll show you that in a minute. It's really, it's more for the techies but it's pretty cool and I wanna show that off. Going back over to the main area of the shop, and, and remember, we're a little bit messy. We've got a lot of stuff, you know, we've gotten some of our furniture, not all. We're finishing the, the construction, but also need a place to put a lot of the stuff. Uh, so in some ways, you're gonna see a mess. Uh, disregard it, obviously it won't be here long term. Come on. Here's our front desk. I wanted something that didn't look like a doctor's office and didn't look like a checkout counter at the supermarket. This is a really cool company we found uh, called Axis and they were great. They brought it all the way up to Jacksonville for us from Miami and it's beautiful. So now this is what we call the living room. And so when you walk into the shop and you immediately turn left, this is the living room. And what this is gonna be, we'll have a couch here and a rug and then an 85 inch television there, speakers in the ceiling. So this will be a Dolby Atmos level room, but you won't see any electronics. They're all in the back. Uh, this is all remotely driven. So what's really cool is again, we chose Focal to handle the in-wall and in-ceiling duties. And this is the smaller of the Focal Utopia line. So this is their beryllium driver tweeter this is their six and a half inch in-wall drivers. This is, and it's bigger brother, this is as good as it gets. Uh, absolutely amazing. I love that these are positionable. So if you have a shorter room uh, and your couch is much closer than uh, our couch will be, you can simply angle these in. If you have a wider room and you have to have a wider area of dispersion, you can simply push it out and position it to where it is, where it needs to be so that you can truly dial it in. Um, in addition, we have run some other Vandenhall in-wall speaker cable. Uh, this is to drive a pair of Focal Sopras or whatever we decide to put up here. So for the more traditional people who do want a full-blown speaker for their left, right, their center, uh, we're also gonna be able to drive that. 85-inch TV will go here. Sony's new mini LED 85s, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, super excited for that actually. Now, let me take a minute. I wanna to talk to you about this networking. Uh, someone had asked about it. I, I don't wanna disappoint. So if I could get you to come a little bit closer. So now these have paint and drywall dust on them, but this is your standard set, uh, CAT6 cable. This is gigabit ethernet. And these two, and it's kinda of hard to see, but by size, this is 10 gigabit ethernet. This is uh, 1.25 gigabytes per second per cable, so big data. As we get into 8K, 120 hertz video streams, as we're doing a lot more and everything is moving, networking, it, everything's getting bigger, everything's getting faster. Uh, so this whole shop is 10 and 40 gigabit capable, not to mention fiber as well. Um, this is really gonna be a high technology shop. Uh, and speaking of that, let's go over here. I'm excited because our guy Jordan got a lot of this set up today. So we're setting up a full Savant automation system. We'll also have some other automation technologies here in house, uh, depending on the use case. But I am really liking what Savant can do for us. Right now, all the pictures are the same. We, we haven't gone in and personalized these images, but living room, entry, uh, FPBN main room, the name room, uh, retail wall, sound room one, sound room two, high-end room, break room, bathroom, my office, the hallway, stock room. There's a lot of rooms here. There's a lot of control that we need to have, whether it's with our lighting, whether it's with our audio. Uh, there's speakers that are going to go under the uh, soffits out front. So as you're walking by our shop, you're going to hear music. Uh, I'm also going to 
use it to scare people, but that's a different thing. We'll get into that later. Let's look at some of the, the stereo rooms. Now this room, we're, we've actually deployed a system. The carpet's in, we're deploying a system, and that's to give us an idea of, you know, do we need to button anything up? Or do, do we have sound leaks? You know, let's figure out while the wall, some walls are still open if we need to do things. So let's take a look at this. All right, so here's my name, Unity Adam. That's what really probably should be in this room at the front of house. I think we threw another piece in there for right now just to do some testing. But let me show you some of the gear that we've got. Um, of course, everyone's probably going to recognize the Quadraspire rack. This is a Hi-Fi Rose. This is the RS250. Uh, that's their little guy. I think retail right around 2500 bucks. Then uh, here, this is the Electra Company at preamp. Uh, this just came in the mail. We're going to be taking this to the floor to show and showing off Electric Company it and Triangle Speakers in a room together. Jason Tavares and Frank Gazzos, these are the two guys who are bringing in Triangle and Electric Company it to America. They're very good friends of ours, good friends of the shop. Super excited to work with them and have Frank hanging out with us for a weekend down in Tampa next month. This speaker, I'd be remiss to not talk a little bit about it. Triangle is another company that's roughly 40 years old this year. This is the Magellan line, and this is a, a bookshelf called the Duetto. And for their 40th anniversary, the Ontals are a $5,000 pair of floor standards that were just on the cover of Stereophile. Well, this is their top line. This is their reference level line. This is roughly $10,000 a pair with stands, and this is their Honey Oak. And I absolutely love this speaker and at florida you'll see the zebrano magellan quators the largest of their line we're going to be showing both off i think this is easily one of the most beautiful bookshelves i've ever seen there is this metal work this carving pattern that they've put on the horn tweeter absolutely gorgeous this is a speaker that i'd put in my living room and not think twice now in addition to that what we've got here in the room sitting on its T plus A amp stand is the T plus A theory and application A3000HV. This is their biggest stereo power amp. And uh, they have a pair of monoblocks that are, that are higher level, but this is T plus A's bread and butter. This is really where they excel. This is their entry into the, you know, the real high end. Um, this is my personal amp. It normally lives at home with me. I brought it in so that we can use it here. Then of course you will see uh, the Vicoustic. You will see a couple of knickknacks and things that I've brought in to simply decorate the shop. These are actually kind of cool chairs. Uh, stylistically, I'm not gonna call them beautiful, but functionally, I fell in love with this because as you know, a wolf owner, I always have a tablet with me. Also, usually have a scotch with me. So that I can move this around and, and let it hold my stuff while I listen to music, that's uh, pretty, pretty valuable to me. Again, more of acoustic, little stool, thermostats, which are savant, which you can also access the scenes. So we, you know, this room might have a couple of scenes specific to it. I can use the thermostat to get to it, which I like a, a, a lot. This is our accessories wall. There's a lot of stuff in front of it right now but we'll have a little system over there. And then here we'll have the shelves and we'll have the various products, you know, the cables and things that you can buy and take home. This will be the accessory wall. We've got a really cool shelving design planned for it. So uh, more on that later. Here is the second room. So you can see we've got the, the cameras installed. Again, uh, all of the power home runs. Uh, so. This is the Ono Copper. Um, this is actually Audience's Hidden Treasure 10 gauge power cable. Every one of the stereo rooms have this big, massive, pure copper driving the power. Um, again, Cat 7 and Cat 8. Uh, outlet there for the, for the TV. If I put a TV in here, I'll probably put some art there for now. Um, but this is a room, this is 13 by 15, and really it's for small floor standards or bookshelf speakers. Um, we call it the, the college bedroom, as if uh, you have a child who goes off to college, you get a bedroom back, you want to put a stereo in there. 
this is that room. This is the standard size of a floor to guest bedroom. So it really serves a purpose to help people imagine what things are gonna sound like at home. All right, so let's do the high-end room. So we're kind of moving back to the shop. Right now we're walking down the middle of the shop. This is our used wall. Uh, so it's kind of away from the street, but uh, you don't see it immediately when you walk into the shop, but it's here, really cool. This is our kitchen, and we're probably gonna put a lot of Wolf Audio Systems related stuff here. But now, um, when we cross over this, th this is kind of front of house, back of house. Now we're in the back of the house, going all the way down, that's my office, that's the left side of the shop behind the big Focal name room. Uh, so my office, bathroom, and this is the high-end room. So this is really our showcase room. The doorway is on the back of the shop, and we did that for a reason, because this is where that, you know, the, the high-end, the super crazy, the esoteric, the you know, T plus A solitaire speakers, this is where we'll have uh, the big stuff. Um, this room is 16 by 26 and uh, 10 foot ceiling, 16 by 26, so it's called a golden ratio room. All of the hardware and electronics will go on the right wall with cable running up to the front so that there's just a pair of speakers up here. We're not going to, uh, we may have a pair of monoblocks down on the floor, but I didn't want to have racks up on the front wall. Now we've got to get in here and we've got to play with it and really see because this is such a big room that we could turn everything around as well and have, in addition to the speakers over here, we could have a, a pair of speakers on this side. And we could have a pair of speakers here for a third system in this room. Now, let me show you something, and this has to do with the lighting. I think it's pretty cool. What these lights are, it's called warm dim. And watch the color temperature. As we start dimming this down, they get warmer. You know, we all know LEDs have a problem. You have a, a very high bright LED, a high Kelvin LED. Well, when you dim it down, it becomes cold light. Well, what's happening here, and if you look at that gray wall and the white wall, you can see that's warm. That's almost uh, candlelight quality. But then as you bring it back up, it starts to brighten up again to roughly that 38 to 4,000 Kelvin, you know, light that we're, we're used to at 100%. Um, so warm dim technology is relatively new. We're really excited. I've already done my kitchen with it. I'm gonna do my bedroom at home next. This light, it just makes life better. I enjoy it more. So those and this is the, the four stereo rooms that comprise the shop. The back of house is over here. Tony's area and Jordan's area, it's all here. But that's, that's the new house of stereo. I'm excited to get to work in a place like this, but I'm also excited for everybody, all of our, our customers and friends who have kind of followed this project. It feels like it's close, we're coming to fruition. You know, we have these systems in here, the, the big folk house speakers are on their way. So any day now, we're going to start turning all of this stuff on, we're gonna start welcoming customers in, so super excited. All right, well, uh, I think that's going to do it for this construction update. I thank you for tuning in, and of course, uh, stay with us, and we'll show you some more as we get down the road. Thanks, guys.